What is up guys, this is Alex and today is the release of DaVinci Resolve 18. Better one, better one. Now there was a big conference and everything for Blackmagic Design announcing a lot of things, but we're gonna concentrate in this video only in DaVinci Resolve 18, better one. So subscribe and you'll get news when the other video will be for all the other things that are coming up for example, the cloud and all this stuff. There will be a little bit of cloud in this video, but not that much. So as usual, you go on blackmagicdesign.com website, click on support. You can filter in the product family section, DaVinci Resolve and Fusion software. You go down here and there it is. Resolve 18 public beta. There's also the studio version. In this video, we're gonna talk about the non-studio version. If you are interested actually in the Project Server 17, which is working great, I have a video, I'll link it up there. It's quite technical and you'll see in the next video because they have solutions that are easier. So you download, you choose your flavor, you register, download, and now you have the install. Just like every install, you extract it, install that, and that's gonna remove your DaVinci Resolve 17. So warning. This is beta software, so it will crash. It's supposed to crash. It should crash. So if you have something in the pipeline right now and you're supposed to deliver the work next week or you're supposed to do a video each day for the next week, don't upgrade, okay? You can also back up all that stuff and come back after. But I have another solution in this video, so maybe it's more interesting. So just like any software, you start it and you have the 18 right there. And now you're gonna have a prompt. The biggest decision ever. <laughs> Now, they recommend to back up the database, and this is very a good idea, and I'll show you how. So on that screen, if you want to keep your DaVinci 17 possible, click Cancel. By clicking Cancel on your local database, by the way, if you don't see that, you can click here on Project, and that's going to show that panel if you don't have it. Projects, just around here. So, local database, and now it's saying that you can't use it because you need to upgrade, which is fine. You will add a project library and you're gonna call this project library DaVinci Resolve Test 18 Beta 1. And you're gonna click Create. And now it's gonna ask you where do you want to put it? Put it in a temporary folder somewhere because we want to test, right? That's the only thing we want. And once it's created, you'll have your local database Beta 1 and you can do any projects with that database in DaVinci Resolve 18. For the 17, maybe you do want to back it up. You click on local database, you right click, and then you have the open file location option. Click on that, and you're gonna have your Resolve Projects folder, which is the right one where all your local database is. Just copy and paste, make a copy, basically. You can back that up somewhere else on an external drive if you want. So this is the database. These are not your source, material, media, pictures, and everything. This is only the database. As long as you rename that copy DaVinci Resolve 17, that works great and not better. Understood? So what's new in DaVinci Resolve 18? The cloud collaboration, enhanced subtitles, Apple Neural Engine support, which is actually already in the 17.4 uh, version. So you can already have access to that. 3D depth matters, so that's actually new. Simplify proxy workflow, which is a kind of interesting. Text and shape acceleration, which we're gonna test on the non-studio version. I'm curious to see how that's gonna work. Object mask, which I'm gonna show an extract of the conference. And the subface tracking overlays. So these are the big new things. So let's start a new project. Let's go straight to the edit tab. So let's name this DaVinci Resolve 18 Beta 1. So this is the conference actually. As you can see in the video, there's a few things that we're gonna talk about, these big things, in the next video. But for DaVinci Resolve, let's go. And if there's any lag, it might be the beta, but also might be my file that is on a hard drive right now instead of an SSD. So first thing, cloud collaboration. So what is it? Well, right now you have two choices, right? You have local, network, which is a DaVinci project server, and that's the link that I'm gonna put there, or that I already put <laughs> before. So if you have a project server, that's where you're gonna be. And you have cloud. So basically they are hosting their own project server, and it's in the cloud. So they are managing everything. So you don't have to install hardware, hard drive, you don't have to configure the stuff because it's kind of complicated. 
and that collaboration will work with everyone on the planet. Of course, you need to share the projects with people, but that is pretty standard and it's one click away. So it's pretty easy. So how do you get to the Blackmagic? Because you need your email and your password. So, so you go on the Blackmagic design website and there's a little login here. You're gonna sign up and then you just have to click on projects server, choose a location, so let's go the closest. I think that's the closest to me. And test server one. Cute, uh, cute apple. There you go. Create. Each project library has a cost of five bucks per month. This is actually not too bad. Oh, it's actually not available right now. Okay, let's try another region. Hawaii, maybe? It's not that available also. Tokyo? No, not, not a... Uh, Singapore? My friend is, is there. Can, can you... Can you? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be costing five bucks per project per month and you can collaborate up to 10 piece of people. Not too bad. But this is exactly the same as a local database, except that it's going through the web and it's going on Blackmagic servers, servers basically. So you're going to have all your projects exactly like usual and you'll be able to collaborate just like usual. Next up in my list, text and shape acceleration. Yes, and I'm gonna test it right now live. So I'm gonna go edit, effects, let's go for basic title, let's go for some, uh, something else like simple, clean and simple, there you go. Let's go how much that clean and simple which is there. Eh, let's do something more, <laughs> more. And let's uh, just hit play. Basic title, of course, it's gonna do absolutely nothing. This one. Ooh, ooh, way smoother, way smoother. Wow, okay, I really did something there. Sample text, let's add a few more. There's like the 3D one. Let's put this one here. I'm gonna shorten him just to be faster. There's a 3D one. Oh, there we go. Super Hero Movie, play right now. Oh, it was slight lag, but... That's way better than it was before. I don't know what it was doing, but it was not that fast. Not that fast. Let's go. Oh, that's an easy one. There you go. Wow, okay. That's really improved, really improved. So enhance up title. I'm gonna show a little bit what it is, but basically now they support new format of text, TTML, XML, Etc. Etc. There is also object mask. I'm gonna show quickly how this is very much new, but it's not new, but they kind of made it more intelligent a little bit. So that's gonna be very interesting to see in the future. And surface tracking overlays, including like clothes. If you have a cloth and it's like wobbling a little bit or wrapping, so it's supposed to track that correctly. So pretty interesting and happy to see that that's gonna go beyond. And happy to see that it's gonna go towards simplification for people who needs a project server and stuff like that. But the project server is still here, right? If you need it, it's still there. <laughs> Thank you guys and I'm gonna release that to the internet. Subscribe for more, hit the like button and in the next video we're gonna talk deep dive a little bit more into all those new technologies, including those things. On that note, see you in the next video. And thanks for watching.